Hello, everybody. Here I am again in the pickup line, waiting for my kiddo to get out of school. This is my time of day where I get to just sit and reflect, and I have this little cocoon of space for myself. <laughs> this is real, hashtag real mom life, right? What I want to talk about today is two sessions that I had this week already. It's only Tuesday, but I had an amazing session with a daddy, two daddies today that um, really both were kind of struggling with the same thing. Both of them love their families like crazy. Both of them want the best for their families and both of them are getting in their own way um, for totally understandable reasons that are happening to all of us, whether you're a dad, your mom, whatever, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna give you these two daddy's examples to illustrate the same concept. So daddy number one, we had a conversation today where he was telling me how he's recognized these patterns that he has in showing up in relationship with his kiddos and with his partner um, that don't serve the, the relationship. And those two patterns were number one, trying to fix um, their problems and number two, using examples from his own life to show that he understood what someone was going through. So just a hashtag low life hack out there for all you parents. If you are trying to show empathy to your kids by saying, I know exactly how you feel. This, 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 and this happened to me too. Or when I was your age, such and such, or I had that same problem and here's how I solved it. <clears throat> do not do this because you think that you are showing empathy and you are and you think that you understand this person's experience which you might but how that comes across especially to a kiddo or a partner is that you're making that conversation about you so you're not going to land where you want to in that conversation so that's a little sidebar but these are the two things this daddy realized that he was making as those conversations about him and he was trying to solve these people's problems in conversations instead of just being a good listener and through our session, I asked him, why do you want to stop doing these things? And he said, well, because I think it's going to get me a better relationship with my kids because they'll talk to me more. They'll feel better in these conversations. I asked him, why do you want to do that in your conversations with your partner? And he said, because then she's going to not feel invalidated by me or frustrated by me. She's not going to be angry with me. <laughs> again okay and I'll get back to that in a second so I want you to right now ask yourself do you see the problem here and now we're gonna come back to daddy number one daddy number two had a session with him this afternoon and he was talking to me about how um, he knew exactly how he wanted to show up in this moment with his daughter last night when bedtime wasn't going well. But he also knew that if he set a boundary and walked out of the room during bedtime, that his wife would then feel like she needed to step in and she had had a really hard day and he didn't want to put that on her. So instead of setting a boundary and, and giving the consequence like he knew he wanted to do, he chose to betray himself truly and instead stay there and do all of these ineffective parenting strategies that meant that he didn't leave the room like arguing with her trying to tell her what to do all of these things that we know don't work and when I asked him well what do you want to do next time he said I want to set a boundary and give a consequence I'm gonna use an enforceable statement I'm gonna say I'm happy to stay in the room with you as long as you can respect my body for example and then I'm gonna walk out of the room and then I said, okay, great. That sounds like an awesome plan. What do you think might get in the way of you following through with this plan? And God bless this man because he was very, very honest. And he said, the thing that I think is gonna get in the way is me being worried about my wife. And I thought, for, just like so great that he was super honest. And both of these stories, so hopefully you can remember daddy number one, daddy number two, both of them were trying to own and control their partner or their child's experience, their feelings, how they think, what they do by changing what they want to do. And with the most profound thing that happened with daddy number one is that I said, well, what's an internal reason for you to do this? Not because you think it's going to help your wife not feel invalidated or it's going to help your kids open up to you more, but why do you want to do it this way? And he said, well, I don't see why it's such a problem for me to want to have a good relationship with my kids. Why can't that be my motivator? And then if, if it doesn't work, I'll try something different. And I said, exactly. 
That's why that can't be your motivator. Your motivator can't be these external factors because then when you don't get what you want, you throw out your entire self. You betray yourself and show up in a way without that completely lacks integrity so that you can now be this thing that you think is going to get you what you want and control the people around you. It's the same thing with daddy number two, right? Like as soon as he thought, oh, my wife is going to be really angry with me if I set a boundary and leave the room with our daughter because then she's going to feel like she has to step in and take over, he betrayed himself. If you are using an external motivator, if you are trying to manage and control the outcome, the feelings, the experience, the behavior of the people around you by your actions, it becomes extremely easy for you to totally live in a way that betrays you, it is not in alignment with you, it feels terrible, and here's the other thing, it doesn't even work because it's not an authentic way to show up. This is what we talk about in my coaching when we talk about living in a way and parenting in a way that's not out of fear, but out of intuition. When we leave the ego, when we release that feeling of need to control our circumstances, we parent like a, a magical, mystical, powerful being that we actually are instead of someone who's stuck in trying to control and manage and change and fix everything around them. So I hope that's an amazing message for you today. I love these two daddies and I send them tons and tons of thanks for being um, just such great examples of honesty, ac extreme radical accountability, never giving up, trying over and over and over again to better themselves and constantly coming back to the self, to the authenticity, to the intuition. This is what the work is and it is miraculous and it's an honor to witness. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.